Sharon, the medical team has made significant progress on the cancer cure. The development team has successfully created the space storage ring. Great. I'll go check it out now. Oh. <gasps> Aslet, am I better than my cousin? Of <gasps> course you are. That unromantic Sharon refuses to have sex with me, unlike you. So coquettish. <laughs> Karen, are you insane? You're the insane one. You cheated on me with Riley. She's my cousin. Sharon, Hazlitt loves me. Fine, Hazlitt. Let's break up. <gasps> What's that smell? <gasps> ah! yes. Is she awake? Keep hitting her. <laughs> Yes, keep going. <laughs> Dare to harm Miss Riley Nande? This is what you get. <laughs> Where are my slim fingers? Why are they so chubby now? Storage ring? <laughs> I didn't die? Have I traveled through time? Why did you stop? Keep hitting her. <laughs> Bitch, let go! You dare to resist? <gasps> Sharon, if you have any self-awareness, you should leave the prince now. I won't leave him. I love him. <laughs> That's so. You're asking for it. What are you doing? Sharon, I won't leave the prince! I won't, even if you kill me. Marlene, <laughs> your highness, your highness. It wasn't me. I shut up and stop lying. From today on, you are not allowed to leave your place. Damn it! You think my years of karate training were for nothing? <laughs> you enjoy hitting people, huh? Princess, aren't you afraid I'll tell the prince? Harley, is mommy insane? Chloe, keep quiet or that crazy woman will hit us too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even trash like you dares to fight me? <laughs> is hitting people funny? Huh? Sharon, just you wait. I'll tell Miss Riley Nunty. You're threatening me? Uh. Mm. Princess, do I act recklessly? Yes. Stop it. <gasps> Miss Riley Nanty, Princess wants to kill me. Please do me justice. Your Highness, I've worked hard for many years. And Princess wants to kill me. Sharon, I know you didn't mean to push me down the stairs. Mingle, just let her go. Sharon was quite kind to me back in the Prime Minister's mansion. What a conniving bitch. Sharon, how dare you? How dare you? You dare mimic me? He looks good, but there's a hint of death. Since you're near your end, I won't argue with you. Uh, your Highness, I hit them. I'm helping you. Ridiculous. How does arbitrarily punishing servants help me in any way? Of course it does. I'm your wife. Hierarchy must be respected, even if I make a grave mistake. It's not for two servants to lord over me. Look at all of my injuries. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Your Highness, what are the consequences of flouting the law? It depends. Mm. Light offenses mm. result in lashes. Grave ones lead to execution. Throughout history, favoring concubines over wives have been scorned by society. Riley Nanti hasn't even married yet, and her two servants dared to hurt me openly. To put it mildly, it's disrespectful to you. They don't hold you in high regard. To put it strongly, 
This is a rule established by monarchs. They are disrespecting the emperor. Your Highness, should those who defy the law and the emperor be beheaded as a warning? Your Highness, I did not. Your Highness, I... I... How is this woman different from before? She dares to confront Daddy now? <laughs> he is indeed poisoned. Your Highness, you wouldn't disregard the law just because they begged, would you? Your Highness, I'll never dare again. Miss Riley Nanty, I don't want to die. When did that foolish Sharon become so smart? Your Highness, Quilla and Nanny White didn't mean it. Sharon used to target me so much. They were just... defending me. Riley, though we don't share a same mother, we at least have the same father. Your servants hurting me so openly is probably sowing discord between us. It makes it difficult for His Highness. I suggest we first give them lashes and then behead them. Your Highness, please, please show mercy. mercy. Please, Your please, Highness, please. please spare me. Enough. Somebody takes them away, give them lashes, and throw them out. I don't want to see them. Your Highness, they are weak. No more words. Your Highness, please show mercy. Your Highness, Your Highness, Your Highness, Your please, Highness spare please spare me. me. Your Highness, Miss Ms. Riley Nancy. Nancy. Ugh, we deserve it. Well said. The law should be no respecter of persons. Sharon, you bullied servants. How should I deal with you? Uh, all right, Your Highness. I see that you are poisoned. You'll die from this within three months. Um, why not let me make amends by curing you? How could you speak such nonsense? Sharon, how could you curse His Highness? You don't believe it? One, two, three. Are you done? See if no food for her these three days. Your Highness! Your Highness! Take care. I shall await your invitation here. Ouch! It hurts. If only my laboratory were here. There, with many healing medicines within. Scorching uh, hot. Uh, <gasps> the development team has successfully created the space storage ring. My research was successful. This is the latest research achievement. It can hold countless things. Did the entire laboratory also travel through time when it exploded? I want hemostatic bandages. Hmm. In my previous life, I was unmarried. Didn't expect to find myself with two kids now, but it seems like their mother wasn't kind to them. <laughs> Useless, huh? Can't you even do the laundry? Mommy, Riley is too weak from hunger. Hungry, huh? <laughs> Eat. <laughs> All you know is crying. <laughs> even your father doesn't spare you a glance. I'll kill you both. <laughs> Stop crying! Stop crying! Shit! Shit! What a heartless fatty. <sighs> huh? Hey! What more do you want? You incited Daddy to kill two servants. Now you want to kill us? Come at me. Mommy, Harley didn't mean it. Punish me if you want to. This kid. <sighs> Today, Mommy surprisingly didn't hit me. I apologize for my past mistreatment. It shall not happen again. In my previous life, I died in an explosion. Never thought I'd transmigrate into someone with the same name. It's kind of fate. Although a bit chubby. Losing weight is a breeze for me. I shall live on well with this identity from now on. Leaving here is the first step. Why pretend Daddy isn't here? Oh, who would fancy your blind father? What did you say? Ouch! It hurts a lot. Endure it. 
Why do you hate us so much? Early, your wound is healed. Huh? Oh. Kids, from now on, I am your mother. Mm, I apologize for what I have done to you. From now on, if anyone dares to bully you, I'll never spare them. <sighs> Doctor, how is his highness? Why did he suddenly split blood? <sighs> God, Chase, I can't discern the cause. Please, think of other ways. What did you say? Even you have no solution? What should we do? Uh, all right, your highness. I see that you are poisoned. You'll die from this within three months. Um, why not let me make amends by curing you? Take care. I shall await your invitation here. Somebody, come with me to fetch the princess. You want to eat? No. Yeah. It's gone bad. It must have been here for days. Better not to eat it. Ew. Don't worry. Someone will soon bring us food. How is that possible? No one here favors us. Why could they bring us food? You don't believe me. If you don't, how about we make a bet? If someone brings us food later, you have to call me mother. Deal? Fine, I'll take your bet. And what if you lose? Hmm, then I'll be at your mercy. If you lose, you can never hit Cole again. Deal, it's settled. Your Highness, please come with me. Does His Highness have a poisoning attack? Your Highness, please see His Highness. Oh, well, I can save him. But these two kids and I are starving. Who gave them leftovers? Huh? Go get food for them. Kid, aren't you going to admit defeat? Damn it. Did this woman poison Daddy? Your Highness, could you please hurry? His Highness can't wait that long. Oh, why the rush? He's not dying yet. Early, can we really eat this? Mm. Mm. Cole, you eat. So sensible. How could his mother be so cruel to him? Mm. I'm full. Just wait here. I'll come back for you soon. Mommy, where are you taking us? We've had enough of this place. It's time to leave. See if. Bring those on the table. What is this? I've never seen it before. Clearly, is what Mommy said true? Ellie, what are you doing? I'm hiding it for you. If you're hungry at night, I'll bring it out. Ellie, you're the best. I know I'm good looking, but you don't have to stare at me like that. Sharon, his highness is on the brink of death. How dare you arrive so late? I was hungry. I didn't have the strength. If I couldn't treat him, it would be your fault. You! Your Highness, his Highness's spitting of blood was unexpected. His pulse is erratic, but there are no signs of poisoning. Guard Chase said you have a solution. This is bad. The blood stasis has flowed into his chest. I need to bleed him now. I may not be talented, but I happen to be able to cure him. Sharon, how come I didn't know you knew medicine? You're quite good at pretending. I'm pretending? Then you go. <laughs> all right, you all leave now. I'll inform you if there's any news. No. What if you take the opportunity to harm His Highness? Your Highness, please don't make this difficult. I'd also like to see how you'll revive His Highness. Fine. No matter what I do, do not interfere. What does this fat so intend to do? 
See us? Open his highness's clothes and pull them aside. Even the Imperial Doctor couldn't figure out what's wrong. I hope the Princess isn't faking it. <gasps> your highness! Princess, how dare you murder your husband! Sir Nanti, how dare you openly assassinate his highness? Have you lost your mind? I didn't kill him. He was spitting blood. The blood stasis flowed back into his chest, blocking his breath. If this continues, he won't last much longer. You're talking nonsense. I've practiced medicine for decades and read countless ancient medical texts. I've never seen such a method of saving lives. So you're trying to kill him? Sir, and you dare to kill his highness? Even if our dad is the prime minister, he won't be able to save you. I should never have trusted you. Guards, take her to the palace. Let the Emperor decide her fate. Hey, wait! <laughs> Mingle Charon will soon wake up! Take her away! Hold on. Your Highness! <gasps> Your Highness! Let go of her. Seif have everyone leave except for the Princess. Your Highness. Yes. <laughs> you said I was poisoned? To be precise, it's venomous insects. Well, here's the deal. I'll cure you and you'll give me back my freedom. What do you mean? I want a divorce, can't you see? I'm divorcing you. Dare you threaten me? <laughs> Always choking people. Who taught you that? Mingle Chair and I can save you and I assure you only I can. Apart from the deal I just mentioned, I have three more requests. My inner strength comes and goes, especially recently. When I use it, it's excruciatingly painful. Countless Imperial doctors are helpless, but Sharon can help. All right, I'll agree to her for now. Fine. I agree. What do you want? First, send Riley away. Let me and the kids move in. You dare mention the kids? If it weren't for your despicable tactics, how'd I have kids with you? Your Highness. Have you seen a fist as big as a sandbag? <laughs> you wicked woman. Second, I'll give you medicine. You must take it for a month straight, but you mustn't come into my place to disturb <laughs> me. I won't even bother to glance at you. Third, I want 10,000 tails of gold. Make it a thousand tails of silver. Take it or leave it. Deal? What are you doing? Sharon, what did you say to your highness? Oh, my dear sister, look at what you're saying. How can my words change His Highness's feelings for you? You! <laughs> oh. Really? Mommy got beaten. She deserves it. Your Highness, shall we stand up for the princess? The Prime Minister let Riley get close to me. He wants to use me against the Crown Prince. I finally got rid of them. Why seek trouble? By the way, Your Highness, why are you so obsessed with the Nine Linked Rings? The monk said the one who could unravel them in the simplest way would be your Miss Wright. Yet Riley couldn't do it, no matter how hard she tried. Your Highness, the one who can unravel this in the simplest way is your Miss Wright. Cherish her. No one could unravel it for years. I suppose I'll be alone forever. Riley, I've tolerated you for so long. What can you do to me then? <clears throat> you really think I'm easy to bully? You dare hit me? I'll tell his highness and father. You like tattling, huh? Am I right? <laughs> Go ahead, you snitch. What a crazy woman. Really, but I think mommy is cool. Here's the Imperial Edict. Let's go. Go ahead and tattle. <laughs> Mommy, get up. Good girl. Huh? It's not my fault. She started it. Your Highness. Let's take the Imperial Edict. By the grace of the Emperor, it is decreed on the seventh day of next month, a birthday banquet shall be held in the palace. All are permitted to bring their rightful wives. Respect it. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Highness, do not neglect His Majesty's birthday. Please prepare the gift. Thank you. Your Highness, I... Riley, can you go back? I understand your intentions. Is His Highness planning to reveal my identity at His Majesty's birthday banquet and ask for our marriage?
Your Highness, I shall also attend His Majesty's birthday banquet. I'll wait for you at the palace. <laughs> Look, Riley, has her heart set on you? Uh... How dare you? Oh, nah, well, <laughs> though I've moved back in with the kids, isn't this reward a bit too little? Hey, this jade pendant looks quite valuable. What are you doing? Father said the seventh day of next month is his birthday banquet. I'm required to bring my wife. You haven't been in the palace for years. Is this reward enough? <clears throat> Mingle! Are you kidding me? This woman is as annoying as I thought. Uh, losing weight in a month? That's not easy. <laughs> She's not naturally fat, but gained weight due to early health issues and hormonal drugs. Chloe, Pearlie, come here. What do you want? Shouldn't you call me mommy? I won our bet. No, you cheated. Oh, I swear, I didn't cheat. Mommy, I'll do that. Please, just being shy, he's embarrassed. Oh, Sharon. Chloe is the sweetest. I won't make it difficult for him, but only if you do me a favor. What is it? Promise me that no one will disturb me before your grandfather's birthday and deliver the medicine to your daddy. What does she want? <laughs> well, Pearly, Mommy says if she lifts that big thing and runs around and drinks the medicine she prepared, she can lose weight. Is that true? I'm not sure, but she does seem slimmer. <laughs> <sighs> Mommy, here's your medicine. <sighs> oh, is it? Have I lost some weight? It seems like you have. Looks like I need to increase the dosage. Mommy, here's your medicine. <clears throat> <sighs> How do I look? Have I lost weight? Yes, you have. Mommy, you freely lost weight. Not that a big deal. Your Highness, that's great. Your strength has recovered. Not fully yet. The princess said it'll take two months before we can remove that thing. By the way, where is she? I haven't seen her in a month. Even the medicine was delivered by Pearlie. Today is my father's birthday banquet. I wonder what she's up to. It's strange. There have been strange noises coming from the princess's place this month. And, it seems, the young prince and princess have grown closer to princess. Interesting. Knowing I don't like those two kids, she really keeps them away from me. It's getting late. We have to go to the palace. Go prepare the princess's attire. I'll deliver it to her myself. Stop right there. No manners. I'm your father. She said no one can go in. Aren't you afraid of me? At most, you can take my life. Half of my life belongs to you. If you want it, you can take it any time. It must be Sharon who taught him these absurd ideas. You're six years old now. Your clothes are too small for you. Is Daddy concerned about me? Daddy, I'm already seven. He's already seven. All right. Stop moving. Bab, Daddy, let Pearly go. Let him go. All right. I'm sorry. It was my fault. Where is your mother? Daddy, you won't recognize Mommy. Oh? I'm ready.
I'm ready. I must have dazzled you all. Let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your Highness, it's getting late. You've indeed lost weight. Your clothes no longer fit you. Seif, go. Get the colorful fairy skirt from the Persian tributes. Yes. Wow. Truly a Persian tribute. It's beautiful. Initially, Persia contributed two sets of this. The other is with the Empress. Hey! What are you doing? I'm helping you change. It's your fortune. Should I thank you? <laughs> you rogue! Daddy, were you kicked out? Daddy, Cole is still young. Please forgive her. <clears throat> well, Seif, get the carriage. Tonight, both kids will go with me to Father's birthday banquet. Yes. Is Daddy allowing me and Cole to go to the palace because of Mommy? Since I've been here, I've never been outside. Didn't expect it to be so bustling. Look, who is this beauty? She's so pretty. That's Prince Mingle's carriage. Is she his new favorite? Ah, if such a beauty could spend the night with me, I'd gladly die. Seif? Can you keep a low profile? What? I look better now. Can I let others see me? But you are still my wife. Put on the veil. Behave yourself. No, I won't. Who knows where you got this from? Maybe it's from Riley. Princess, please put it on. This is personally ordered by His Highness for you. No scent of makeup. It's new. Fine, I'll put it on. Wasn't it supposed to be for Riley? If she finds out... Wouldn't she be heartbroken? No one will treat you as a mute if you don't speak. I'm doing this for your good. Think about it. You and Riley should never be apart. Otherwise... Uh... <laughs> By otherwise, do you mean throwing yourself at me? You wish. Oh, heart race, hey. Calm down. I just kissed a slightly handsome man. That's all. That's strange. I've never been attracted to any woman before. Why do I feel my heart racing when I see Sherry? Am I sick? What is this? Miss Fralinanti, look! That's His Highness's carriage. Father, that's Prince Minkle's carriage. What's all this fuss about? Calm down. Got it. I've done my research. There is no fatty in the Prince Mingle's carriage, which means your sister isn't there. After His Majesty's birthday banquet ends, I'll ask him to grant you a marriage. Father, but if I marry him now, I'll only be his concubine. I don't want that. I want to be his wife. Sharon made Quilla bedridden for more than a month. I can't swallow this. Enough. His Highness merely beat her. Not killing her is a kind of mercy. It means he cares about you. Make sure he loves you, so Sharon won't be able to pull any tricks. Today, at His Majesty's birthday banquet, you must make a stunning impression. Don't worry, Father. My musical skills are the best in the entire Sharon kingdom, and I've cozied up to Princess Sharon. She'll speak up for me. Very good. As long as you use her well, she is a very good weapon. You must not offend her. Huh? Who is this? Why have I never seen her before? Why is she in His Highness's carriage? Your Highness, we're at the palace.
<sighs> don't touch me. I can get down by myself. <clears throat> Sharon, don't forget where we are. If someone sees this, I'll be embarrassed. Is anyone here? Where? I don't see anyone. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> it's been a month. This kid hasn't accepted me yet. Let's go. Into the palace. Whoa, so this is the palace. Isn't this a sea of gold? Wait, if I secretly take two pieces of gold, won't I be rich? Yes! <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Your Highness, don't you think the princess now is quite lively? This is the palace. How can she be so reckless? If my father sees this, she'll surely receive a scolding. <gasps> hey, Riley. Riley, don't be too hasty with these guys. You can go to Princess Shara now and figure out a way to make her not steal your thunder, but give you a chance. I understand. Quilla, let's go. Where did those two kids go? They disappeared in the blink of an eye. Pearly! Uh, ah! Damn it, isn't it Hazlitt Charon, the cheating man? Did he also travel through time? Hazlitt, you scoundrel! Why are you everywhere? How dare you? <gasps> Who are you to dare to offend the Crown Prince? The uh, Crown Prince? <laughs> Your Highness, she... Oh no, this is a huge misunderstanding. In this world, both Riley Nanti and Hazlitt Sharon have the same names as in their previous lives. <laughs> Forget it. Today is Father's birthday. Let's avoid causing trouble. Go tell Chloe to get prepared to meet Father. Yes. <laughs> Riley, Mommy seems to be gone. She's stupid. We just walked a little faster and she couldn't catch up. Riley, look, she's somewhere over there. Let's check it out. Oh, I... Cole, are you okay? I'm fine. Pearly, you're the best. His Highness actually brought those two brats here. Miss Riley, if we can't get rid of your sister, getting rid of her kids can also clear the way for you to become the princess. Is that the crown prince's son? Quilla, you know what to do. Hmm. Second, miss. I'll get right on it. Where do those two kids go? It seems they haven't been to the palace. If they offended someone, it would be disastrous. Pearly! How dare you hurt the crown prince's son? You're asking for a beating. <laughs> we didn't push him. Stop lying. We're not lying. You truly are the kids of some lowly woman. You have no manners. Since your mother doesn't teach you manners, I'll do it for her. <laughs> 